Hello world, PDR coming at you here. Let's talk about the weather. It's a beautiful rainy day and I'm out here in the rain and we're gonna do this uh, 2018 Subaru Crosstrek, brand new car, real nice car for a real nice person. Um, and it's got a nasty collision dent that, I don't know, we're gonna, it had some scuffs, I buffed them out. I'm getting it really warm right now. We're gonna see what we can do for them. See if we can keep them out of body out of a body shop. Uh, I said that this repair would be about 80% in my mind because it's a large stretched metal dent. I've got it kind of warm. 123, 120. I want to get this ridge real warm, and I wanted to bring you guys in and show you this uh, first initial thing. Hopefully, my microphone sounds all right. But if you hear the sounds here, let's turn, well, I don't want to turn this off, I want to keep it on. But if you hear the sounds, it's solid. See how it gets a little tinny? See how that's almost that tinny pop can sound right there? That's the top of that brow. And before I really beat on that brow, I'm getting it super warm and I'm gonna just try something uh, amateur old school whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna take this guy right here that my an old woods grip that I have that my umbrella was attached to and I'm gonna try to go old school on this dent and really just pull it out with a woods grip we got it nice and warm I'm gonna go right in the center okay a little bit moved a little bit more moved Okay, so we still have this major brow on the bottom, but I mean, for literally a, a woods grip, this is not a, a normal plunger, guys. You wouldn't stick a plunger on a car ever. This is a little pneumatic pumper grip made by the woods company, and I don't want to break it, but it sure did a nice job. So now I want to clean that up. And I'm going to come through and make some glue pulls and obviously tap this brow down. Um, I wanted to bring you guys in for the initial rainy part and that pull because I've been wanting to pull on that thing all morning, um, waiting for the rain to die down and it didn't. So I guess we can turn this off. At this point in the videos, when I say I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on the video, I really do. Um, stick around and we will uh, we will get the rest of this out. I see I got a little low here where and then this line where the initial impact came up against the cross brace that's a folded over brace behind the hinge um yeah we'll do what we can to tap that down also but uh in the meantime thanks for sticking with me hit that like and subscribe and we'll be back with you in just a sec okay guys we're back um we got this nice and warm um i tapped down some of this brow just been sitting here a little bit of the Shane Jacks giving it the little baby taps like this just to break that brow down a little bit but I think I want to see if I can access this little meat of the dent with a tool that's not going to be the right one and this little guy is not going to be the right one I think Bertha's just got the bend that I need can you come in through the grommet carefully and find my little spot here and I'm right on this big meat of the dent here and I'm gonna work the body line first well I'm not right on the body line I'm kind of in the middle but we've got it nice and warm 129 degrees it's just about perfect this thing's about to fall adjust it a little bit and I'm gonna come right back in here in this area once I find my tool, there we go. And it's a... It's kinda at this point like doing a little dent. But uh, you get that body line out so that it looks nice and straight. And that's where the majority of the rest of this dent is held in. It's still not gonna bring this brow out. It's gonna help, but it's not gonna bring the brow all the way out. And I'm just keeping it real warm and taking my time and 
making some pushes through here. Uh, sorry about the shorter video. We're not going to um, film as much. We're going to come back and give you the end result, but we're not going to film every last little step through this dent because it's kind of miserable out. And so I'm just making some pushes through this tightest area right here. And actually a really strong one right there. I know I could make it because of the, the temperature. Still nice and warm. Uh, I'm going to give my board a little bit of a different reflection. Make sure it's turned all the way up there so it's super bright. And I think I'm going to turn it like that. So it's straight up and down. There we go. Now I can see there is a little residual dent down here. I might be able to get down there with a my number one or a J hook. Um, but I'm coming through the bottom right there. And there it is. There's my tool. Giving it a little bit more of an angle. If you can see, I twisted the Bertha a little bit. Coming through the bottom of it, nice and slow. We don't want to make any funky push marks. We just want this dent to come out nice and evenly. And all these little baby ones that you're seeing, like one, two, three, if you see those, you've got a really good eye. But other than that, it's uh, those will all even out with the orange peel once I bring this dent up to flush. Uh, if there's one that jumps out at me, obviously I'll just tap it down. But uh, the art is actually just getting it all up and even so that it matches the orange peel. And that was a kind of a strong push, but I'm going through the middle here and I'm just making some more. Um, I'm going to clean up the rest of this body line with Bertha here. And then I'm going to come back in with a little hook and try to get these guys out while tapping down some of this stuff. Um, and then we'll come back and show you the final result, give the board on it, and uh, let you guys see what I think. Oh, up here I did tap this down, this little high brace that was stuck out. That tapped down real nice. Uh, there's still a little bit of a residual there, but now that I have the board at a different angle, I can see it better. Um, stick around with us for the last little part, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's not the uh, super final, but we're coming in. I mean, it might be if I just clean this up real quick. I'm uh, obviously it stopped raining on me, yay! And I'm uh, coming in for the basic final look see with the board here. And I can see there's just a couple little areas on the top edge that I want to clean up. And uh, I will say, I hope the microphone worked well. Um, yeah, once I put the board way far away, I could see just a little bit more. And I wanted to get this last little bit out. I think the repair came out pretty nice. There's still kind of a brow, um, but it's also uh, one of those things that with the price that I was charging, and that's kind of the reason why I said that it might be an 80% repair because this thing was a uh, beach ball size collision. I mean, it stretched all the way up to here, and if I look real close, there's still a little bit of a wave up here and a little bit of a wave down here. Um, but I think we got the most of her out. And for what uh, the customer paid, I think he's going to be really happy with the result. Um, buffed out all the little black marks and scuffs. Obviously went in through the grommet to do a lot of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I still see the little scratches. Nothing I could do about that. Scratching the paint there and a the little brow. Um, I told you I'd come back with the board and show you what we're looking at. So, you know, you still see a little bit of that. But this line, we got straightened out. And when you're looking down at the car, this drops off. So it's really tough to see here, but I do have a little bit of brow there that I recognize, but it's also um, the difference between that, uh, you know, 80% Band-Aid fix and uh, leave it with me for three days and spend just as much as a body shop and just save your factory paint. Um, honestly, if I spend another five or six hours on this brow, I can get it out real nice. Um, but other than that, I really appreciate everybody sticking around with me for this video. Uh, really cool car, like I said, a really cool person. And saving this orange paint is invaluable. Um, so yeah, if you would, hit that like button if you liked it. Other than that, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.